Hey guys, um, thank you for watching. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, just speak straight from my uh, knowledge on this uh, on this video here. So I like checking out other people's videos. What it does is it gives me ideas. I get I get inspired, I get motivated to discuss various topics. Okay. Now this one has to do with which is better, organic or conventional food. Is there a difference? Right. The answer is yes, and it depends. Okay, so l let me just kind of dive right in. First off, I will tell you that there are studies that show that there are no differences between organic versus conventional food, but here's the issue. It depends on what they're looking at in terms of what they're measuring. Um, plant foods are pretty resilient, so even if they're sprayed, and it depends on the kind of um, you know food that's being looked at. So if we're looking at bananas, we may not see a difference because the outer... Uh, peel is so thick that it's almost imper uh, Im Im impermeable. Uh, I'm not, I don't know if it, if it actually uh, uh, is imperme impermeable, but it, it's, pre it's quite thick that it's, it's one of the lower um, risk foods that one can get. Like usually the thin skin uh, produce is the ones that you want to go organic because it's a thinner skin and the pesticide can kind of work its way in there. Now, that being said, is our body resilient to pesticides? Absolutely. That's why we have an immune system, okay? But here's the thing. You, you, you do realize that when you do consume the pesticide, you are making your immune system have to deal with that, right? Or could it be inert? I don't know, quite frankly. But I'd rather heat on the side of caution um, and get organic foods whenever possible. And I'm talking about, we can look at the dirty dozen. In fact, I'll, I'll in fact, why don't you take a look at it right now? Okay, so that, that has to do with uh, just kind of a, a collection of data that shows the top 12 foods that are highest in pesticide residue that have been measured. Now, there are other foods that are the lowest uh, pesticide residue foods, right? So those you can you know, get conventional. And here's the thing too, another angle is if somebody goes from eating no produce to eating some, you certainly don't want to say, oh, they, you can't eat it. It's not organic. Encourage them. It, the benefits of eating the produce is going to outweigh the risk of whatever residue might be on that uh, produce. And then there's other there's other options. One can rinse it. You can have some sort of a, you know, a, 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 a cleansing wash. I've never used those, but there's like veggie and fruit washes out there that one can use. So, you know, th there's a lot of angles to this and there's a lot of layers. Um, that's why I says, that's why I said yes and depends. The reason why I say yes is there are studies that do show differences um, in nutritional content and so forth. So you've got some studies that show no difference and some, some studies that show some difference. Well, I, my position is the fact that there are studies that show a difference is enough for me. And we have the freedom of choice, right? So I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to use my freedom of choice. I'm going to empower myself to make that decision and get organic. Now, yeah, I'm paying a little more, but being that I'm a um, health conscious person and, and I try and optimize, you know, whenever I can in, in a sensible manner, of course, um, because I don't get everything organic. And, and sometimes, you you know, you just... Sometimes you just like, you know, I'm not going to like do this to myself. I'm not going to outthink myself. I'm not going to overanalyze. But by and large, I typically like to get my berries organic. And a, a one way to actually save is I'll, I'll typically get frozen blueberries instead of just getting the fresh. In fact, I actually tend to like frozen blueberries better. Um, so to answer the question, if, if I already get bananas, I usually get those conventional. Um, and but also here's another here's another um, another viewpoint. I have personally found that organic produce tastes better than non-organic. Not all, not all the time, okay. But in a lot of cases it does, particularly when it comes to fruit. Um, I notice a significant difference in the taste. So I've have gotten apples that were conventional. It was just like biting into this dry like rancid apple that had no kind of sweetness. It was like it was like it was a weird waxy kind of a texture and then on top of that it had no taste it was like chewing like spongy cardboard so i think there is a difference uh in that in that in that regard in terms of taste so you can certainly you know you can support your decision with that
case in point. It tastes better. So at the end of the day, what it comes down to is uh, being sensible, being prudent. So kind of picking your your spots in terms of when you're going to go organic, but just rest assured that whenever you go organic, it's taking the, the it's heating it's heating the side of caution of things. Okay, so you're, you're going to get a, a more quality uh, produce, and it will cost you a little more. But quite honestly, isn't our health our wealth? I think that's a worthy investment to invest in. So <laughs> rather than rather than skimping on the dollar. Uh, when it comes to what we eat, I'd rather skimp on other things, quite honestly. I, I want to invest in my health. Um, that's just me. Uh, that's just my opinion, uh, my personal belief. But anyhow, um, that's all I want to uh, you know, share about this, guys. Um, feel free to leave comments and questions below. And I will link up a few studies just because um, this has kind of spurred some uh, in interest on my regard. Um, this is not something I'm unfamiliar with, but I certainly can learn more like we all can. So um, in fact, I've learned, I've learned plenty from many of you who have left comments and, and questions, ask, asking great questions um, and just kind of continuing to you know, uh, inspire each other and, and learning from each other. So.